For the catapult project, we're gonna need stock, inch and a quarter in width pine, a miter box with the saw, tape measure, cordless drill with a countersinking bit, the ones that are painted red, a square drive, inch and a quarter wood screws, and glue. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is secure the miter box in the vise. Taking this little part that sticks down, we're gonna go ahead and clamp it. Don't over tighten it, you'll break the plastic. All right, once that's secured, how this works is the saw can cut straight, and cut 45s. All right, this is gonna help you accurately cut these pieces. The first thing we're gonna make is the base, and we need to cut two pieces at 10 inches and two pieces at four inches. We're gonna put the base together like this, and what we want are screws going through the 10 inch into the four inch pieces. So what we're gonna do is countersink one time on the end of each 10 inch board. The next thing we're gonna cut are the four diagonal supports. Seven inches long from long point to long point, 45, 45. Those are gonna be situated like so. We're going to start by cutting a 45 on one end. Tape measure across the top, seven inches. So if our off cut is long enough, we can take our first piece and simply use it to scribe the next one. We are going to put these together with one screw going in right about here. Then they're gonna get attached to the base with one screw in this way and one that way. Now the problem is we're putting a screw very close to the end, so once again, we're gonna to need to countersink. So watch carefully how I do this. The angle 
that we drill is very important. What we want is the countersink bit to go at a 90 degree angle to this mitered edge right here, right? About one inch down. So it's gonna pass through right here. Now we're gonna attach the diagonal supports to the base with glue and screws. Winston, wake up. Next step is cutting a piece at four inches across support. Next, we're gonna drill the countersink hole for the catapult arm pivot point. So this piece is 10 inches long, measure down five. This is an inch and a quarter wide. So go to about five eighths, flip it over, five inches down, five eighths down, countersinking bit. Now we're gonna cut the piece that goes in between. Now, four inches, four inches, four inches. We're gonna cut this one just a hair less than four inches so that it doesn't fit tight in here. We're talking like three and 15 sixteenths. Once again, a little bit less than four. That's three and 15 sixteenths. Cutting on that side of the line. And we have a little bit of wiggle room. That's perfect. Next, we're gonna cut the catapult arm at 12 inches. And we're going to screw it to the middle of the pivot piece. To finish up the catapult arm, we're gonna need a bottle cap and a small hinge screw. Just drilling a small hole in that to help start the screw. Change the bit. Fill it side out. So on the pivot part of the catapult arm, I want you to find the center. Just go by eyeball from both ends. Take your, just the point of your countersink tip and start the, start the hole where the, the screw's gonna go in. But don't go too deep, All right? Just a little bit. Change the bit. Square drive out. And now we're gonna use the longer two and a quarter inch screws. When I tighten this screw, I wanna go all the way down 
and then back it out a little bit so that it pivots easy. Once again, tighten it, then back it out a little bit. And you'll know if you've done it right, it pivots like that. Now take a look at the bottom. When it pivots, if there's any wood protrudes past the base, you have to plane that off. That looks good. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is put a two and a quarter inch screw right through the middle of this support piece. Let's go ahead and mark that. So what this screw is for is it's gonna allow us to adjust where this arm stops. So by screwing it in, the arm goes farther up. By backing it out, the arm stays down. This is gonna help us with the trajectory of the object that we're throwing. All right, I want you to take your tape measure, go ahead and hook it on the end of the arm Go up six inches and put a line. Right, and go ahead and do this on the other side as well. Once again, we're going up six inches. Take an inch and a quarter screw. And screw it in until the threads are not seen. Right now on this side, where the rubber bands are gonna stretch over, we're gonna put a screw like this and basically screw it in, right, until you can almost feel the tip pop out. All right, now take your hair ties or rubber bands and place them. All right, let's see how it works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Make sure that you got your safety glasses on. Any objects that you put in there, hey, it should be like little pieces of wood or uh, gummy bears, no quarters, no dimes, nothing metal. All right, we don't want to hurt anybody. But yeah, let's see how this works. Let's add a little chunk of wood and bring it back. Go get it. All right, so I got some beautiful chunks of strawberry right here. Winston loves strawberries, don't you? He loves any type of food. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a chunk of strawberry in here. Winston, right here. Good boy. Hey, you want another one? 